this current present position where we are is most frightening because it's like there's nowhere to hide or nowhere to go. It's like insecurity is everywhere and especially if it is coming to the point of dislocating the security situation where the head, the head of government or where the government headquartered. So we, we really have to review and see what more we have to do and how differently we have to, to do. Our population is largely peasant. Most of our people are in the rural areas and they lead their lives by going to farms. We all know this. In many parts of the country today, that is a Herculean task. Bandits have taken over, but it is our desire and in fact my belief that we can do better to secure the rural areas, the so-called ungoverned space, at least for our population who go to farms to earn their living, where our agricultural productivity is drastically going down, that would complicate the security situation because the most ordinary everyday Nigerian cares more about what he or she or what the family will eat. And of course other things are secondary. And where this is not possible at all, that means life is uh, on an edge. So we have to look at that. We have problem with our economy to some extent because of security. No foreign direct investment or not as much as we would ordinarily attract to our country. The level of oil theft is of industrial scale today. And many of the oil companies, especially the oil majors, the international oil companies don't feel this environment is secured enough for them to continue with their businesses. And our oil will be useless if there are no exploration uh, for us to export and earn revenues for the development of our country. That is something that we also have to deal with because the economy could simply be so challenged that resources will be so little that government may find it difficult to provide services.